welcome back to the channel and on today's video I'm going to be making a leather dangler sheath for the Mora Garberg. This particular one is a lefty but that doesn't matter because you just reverse things around. Now I won't show you how to make a pattern because I've got my own pattern but at the end of the video I'll put a link to an older video I did making a knife sheath and right at the start of it I make a pattern so just check that out because I'm going to use my regular pattern right let's go When you go to this point, a bit of spit on these edges, so go all, all the way around there, take the burnishing tool, Burnish these edges before you glue that down. After you've sanded it nice and square just make sure it is actually square or it's sloping that way because you're going to drill from the front so you can't actually see what's happening on the back so if things aren't properly square with your drill you could get these holes going far too close to the outer edge so that's what I do I put a slight chamfer on it that way you can always put it back on if you want.
35 minutes later stitched now I'm gonna do something that not a lot of people do I'm gonna dip dye it I'm gonna dip dye it and dip form it now this is a new thing for me I've only been doing this about a year and although the initial cost of it by buying a litre of leather dye is expensive it's so much quicker and it cuts a wet forming now if you're doing this at home i would suggest just buying dye dyeing it now then leaving it to dry i always use oil dye i don't use water based so leaving it dry then dip it in lukewarm water get it soaking wet Ram the knife in and manipulate the leather with your fingers to the shape of it and let it dry. Summer now, you can leave it hanging out somewhere in the sun, it'll dry quick. Winter, I just put it on the radiator. Remember to put a bit of cloth or something down first or your radiator will have brown, brown marks on it. So I'm just going to show you now how I dip form. Oh, it's so much easier. I keep my dye in one of these containers, which I think is meant for spaghetti. Yes, it's spaghetti on, on the photograph. Whatever you do, wear rubber gloves. I actually have got a plastic bottle in here because otherwise I'd have to put two liters in. So that just fills it up a bit it looks like it's been dyed but it it is water i gotta dye this as well and this is why i put one hole in first let the excess drip out I know unless you're going to make a lot of sheaths, don't bother with this because it's a bit expensive. Always remember to leave a drainage hole. It takes a few seconds to completely soak in. There we are, done. Take your knife in the sheath and manipulate it. Push it into the handle, front and back. Now the footage you're going to see after this, I'm not working on this sheath, I'm working on another sheath. So if you're wondering why this is a lefty and that's a righty, because that one is dry. I'm going to hang it up in the sun. Now because of time constraints and the sheath I'm making will not be dry in time, I've got another sheath here and I'm going to show you the burnishing process I use. Come to Geneth, stick my finger in it. Put it all over the rand. I've already done these areas, so I only need to put a little bit on there.
make sure all visible raw edge is covered with the gum wipe it in your shirt burnishing tool And basically keep going until it's shiny now that the edge is burnished I'm just gonna go over the stitching with the over stitch wheel I'm gonna take my acrylic resiline and a sponge and I'm gonna evenly coat the sheath and then leave it to dry You can add as many layers as you want. I usually just do two. So this is what it looks like after it's dried and being cured and obviously had the run done. That is basically it. Well, thanks for watching my way of making a bushcraft sheath and I've never had one fall apart or stitching come apart, never, never happened. So as far as I'm concerned, I may do it a different way to other people, but it works for me. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Remember that thumbs up is always appreciated. ta -ra.